ended up with a redistricting plan this year that you know, put the squeeze on a couple of people and uh, moved the lines around, which always happens. But I think that uh, the senators in this area would be commended for coming up with a plan that I think ensures that we will have uh, a Republican majority and that those senators that they attempted to squeeze, Mr. Stanley, Mr. Smith, uh, that they attempted to squeeze and end up uh, still being there in Richmond in January. That the Democrats and the majority in the state Senate were afraid of a true, proven conservative leader in Ralph Smith. They want to socialize government. We stand in their way. And sometimes it's in the minority. And as the Representative Griffin says, thank goodness we have the majority in the House of Delegates and these fine gentlemen, uh, Charles Poindexter and Bill Cleveland, who were, who were able to blunt some of the worst laws that I've ever seen come out of the state Senate. And they were driven by party line votes. But I've also seen good legislation that's come from the House of Delegates and also originated from Senator Smith and other conservatives get killed in those Democrat controlled committees. So it was their attempt in redistricting here, really was, to blunt the effectiveness of South Side and Southwest Virginia. But the best laid plans of mice and men soon some go awry. And today I can tell you that uh, as the, as the you know, senator for the 19th district at this time, I know you probably may have known this already and I don't want to spoil the surprise, um, but I know that turning over the 19th district as it's configured now, which means uh, that for this uh, time, Ralph is my senator, I'm moving into Southern Franklin County, and I will be challenging Roscoe Reynolds for the 20th make sure that Southwest Virginia got its fair share of the governor's transportation package. It fought efforts to use taxpayer funding for abortions. I said I would stand up for the Second Amendment, and I've done that. I said I would fight for budget transparency. I've done that. Fix laws. I've had some success, and I will work harder. That is the one of the main goals of the next four years. I figure they try to gerrymander me out of the Senate. They drew my current home in one district, drew my office in another district. But here I'm standing in a, today, a third district. All this gerrymandering, and, and every time they figured out, well, I had one angle, well, they countered it with another angle. But they didn't do enough history. Right over here, right, right here, <clears throat> was these three rural precincts, Bedford County. This is the Kirby family home place. For 175 years ago, the Kirby family established a farm. And um, many years ago, my mother left that farm, moved to Roanoke. It's a, go to work in a factory. Now if you come right over here, right that little dot we made right there. One fork, it's Crockett's Cove Road. You take the other fork, it's Smith Hollow Road. <laughs> <laughs> they missed that. <laughs> and that is something, that is uh, a little church, just uh, after you come to that intersection, another three quarters of a mile, obviously the cemetery out back. And in that cemetery is, uh, is my mother, dad, my grandparents, my great-grandparents, and my great-great-granddad, who, who started there in 1803. Uh, it's right there. Now, I, I consider that somewhat a miracle. In this, all this jacket, we went by all these people, but we found Smith Hollow. <laughs> But you see my emotion with the idea of that guy who went uh, to National Auto Diesel College and came back home and opened a service station on Williamson Road, that, that someday he would be able to 
represent these people in the Virginia Senate is uh, it's real special. Uh, I guess the opposition knows that I have my reasons to go out and win the election. 